About 20 years ago, me and a good friend of mine were riding up on a chairlift to Montana, doing some snowboarding, and we were both in high school at the time. Partway up the lift, he asked me a question. He said, Chad, what does the Bible say about Earth? Now, I grew up in a Christian household. I thought I knew what the Bible said, at least a little bit on the subject, and I shared a couple examples with him. But I remember feeling grateful he didn't ask me any more questions after that, because I didn't have any more answers for him. Well, 10 years after that, I was on a mountaintop again in Montana, and I brought the Bible with me on this trip, and I started at the beginning, first book, the first chapter, and I hit a brick wall because it made no sense to me. I thought I knew what the Bible said on the subject of Earth, but I didn't. I realized that I absolutely did not. Well, that sent me off on a course of learning what does the Bible say about Earth, not what do people's opinions deem that the Bible says, not what do we think it says, but what does the Bible actually say in plain English about Earth. Come to find out, it says a lot, but the interesting thing is, it does not say what I thought they said. Thousands of hours have gone into bringing you this book, Where Are We? Earth According to the Bible. Available in paperback and ebook at wherearewethebook.com.